Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a much requested review video about the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3 palette. Now this one is already looking nice and haggardy, but if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on the palette, just keep watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And if you're interested in review videos and swatch videos and hauls, this is definitely the channel to watch. So I encourage you all to subscribe down below. So without further ado, let's get into my review of this palette. Okay guys, I definitely have to say as far as YouTube goes, as far as comments goes, I've gotten a lot of comments on my videos when I'm wearing this palette and I've had a lot of people ask me to do a review on this palette because there aren't a lot of tan girls that have these palettes because I think a lot of people, and I don't blame people because even in my mind I feel like I'm a little too tan to have this palette. but. Basically what happened was I did pick this up when it first came out. This is the palette from 2015, so this is two years old, and I've had this in my collection for a while. I've made a decent dent in it, but definitely have not used this to its full potential. I would like to pan this at some point, but I was using this on my friend Kelsey and it just looks so beautiful on her. She's of course a lot lighter than me, but I decided to give the bronzer a try the other day and it just melted into my skin. So I was on the hunt for a full size of this Hourglass bronzer. Now keep in mind the full size bronzer from Hourglass is like 50 bucks and I was like, oh my gosh. And that day this palette happened to launch on Sephora.com. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pick this up now. Just looking at these side by side, I do feel like this one has more vibrant shades as far as the blush and the bronzer is concerned. I don't know if I'm just like hallucinating because I feel like they're almost the same thing. But yeah, I just feel like this is a little bit more vibrant compared to this. Even these two blushes, I feel like are the same color tone, but I think this one, which is from the newer palette, has less of that mixed in like the lighting, whatever those uh, powders are called from Hourglass. I feel like this one is definitely more gray compared to this one. I feel like they definitely put more pigment in it, but I have no scientific evidence to support that theory. Anyway, let's talk a little bit more about these. So again, these are called the Ambient Edit Palettes. I have one and three. I didn't pick up the one from 2016 because I hadn't really used this one and I was like, mm, I feel like I don't need more. And that one had really beautiful packaging. It was like marble packaging, if you guys remember. So I don't have a ton of things from Hourglass. The only other product from Hourglass that I own is their stick foundation. And I love that stuff. This is an incredibly high-end brand as far as I'm concerned. Their stuff is on another level as far as Sephora. Like I feel like at Sephora, there's like Sephora Collection. Then there's like Too Faced, Benefit, Urban Decay, those brands. And then there's like the Hourglass brand i would say like huda and then there's the luxury brand so like dior chanel Givenchy, and all that jazz so this is definitely on the higher side as far as their price point goes and things like that and i have purchased from them but not really that much i purchased this on 12th of september when it was launched and then i received it two days later because i do have flash shipping from sephora.com I usually like to buy things from Sephora's website whenever I can because then if I don't like the product, I can always return it. So really quick, I want to show you guys a little demo. I did film putting this palette on my face, so let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so quickly I wanted to do a demo of the palette. And I'm just going to use a mirror on the palette so I don't have any face makeup on, no highlight, no bronzer. So I'm just going to show you how I use this. Now typically you could use the two powders on either side here for like setting your face and stuff. I just use my Dermalogica powder for that. But usually I always start with my bronzer and this bronzer brush is dirty. But this is kind of the only size of bronzer brush I have that will fit in this palette. So this is the Morphe M403 and I really like this um, even though, but I feel like because I've lightened up since the summer, I can kind of wear it now. And what I like to do is do that number three. So that's the three. <laughs> so you want to hit your jaw, your 
contour is where I usually like to put bronzer. I mean, it's all preference. And then, of course, I want to do this side. So I just love this bronzer because it kind of just like melts into my skin. And as you guys can see, I'm not concentrating it as much as I would any other product. I usually love to be very generous with my bronzer. So I think that's a good amount. I think you can see it. Let me just put some more on on this side because I feel like the lighting is catching better. Um, but yeah, that's the bronzer. And then these are the two blushes in the palette. So I really like this mauve shade blush. And I actually do like the pinky one too. But I think for today, since I'm feeling so fall, I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush. You can see that's quite a bit of product. And I usually like to just concentrate my blush kind of on the apples of my cheeks. Now this does definitely have some shimmer in it, so I think it picks up beautifully on camera. I've had this palette on a few times in videos and people have asked me what palette, what face palette it is, or what blush I'm wearing. And it's usually this hourglass one, and these blushes are stunning. So, I think you can get the idea. I can definitely see it in the viewfinder. It's picking up some glow and that is definitely from the blushes and then finally for highlighting I like to use this center shade it's like a it's more like a white champagne but when it blends in it's beautiful so I'm gonna take this Real Techniques setting brush I like to use these for highlight and of course I'm gonna pop this on the high points of my cheeks so as you can see it's a very subtle Highlight, you can definitely pile these on for sure, and it won't be like too overwhelming. And then, of course, we gotta get some for this side. And again, try not to put too much on, but I think you guys get the gist of it. It's such a beautiful, subtle powder all of these are so there is the look and then I like to top off all my face makeup with a setting spray and I'm almost done with this one this is Smashbox primer water I love this stuff I have to hold it in this odd angle to get that last bit out and then of course you want to let it dry but yeah I just I love this powder you guys the only thing I wish is that our glass would expand their color range so that people with darker skin could experience the awesomeness that is this powder. And even me in the summertime, I usually do get it quite a bit darker and I wish they would expand their range so I could wear their powders all the time. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that demo. Now as far as the price point on this palette, it is definitely not cheap. It is $80 and I have not bought another face palette from Holiday this year so far. I think this is pretty much all I need for now. I'm gonna have a will I buy it video going up with all like the face palettes I could find and whether I'm planning on buying them or not. But I feel like this definitely is all I need for now. I'm definitely like really attracted to the Becca face palette that they came out with for holiday but it's not really something I need. So I feel like I made a decent decision picking this one up. And this is a very nice travel friendly palette. It comes with this nice big mirror. It contains three of their best selling shades and then three new exclusive powders as well. I think this palette flawlessly brightens my complexion. I mean, I just don't know how to explain these powders, but there's definitely a lot of technology behind them. Like when I was reading the formulation and things like that they talk about photoluminescent technology and there's a lot of stuff in here that makes you look super glowy which i don't really see from a lot of my other powder products so i think that is why such a high price tag on this palette is because it's not like the basic tarte palette there is more that goes into this more ingredients maybe i don't know i mean i can't imagine that they're charging us for this packaging because it is plastic like it's not fancy it doesn't feel like the pat mcgrath eyeshadow palettes or anything by any means but i do feel like the product in here is very very good i don't have any other face powders that just like melt into my skin the way these ones do i really wish hourglass would just expand their color range because it just makes me so sad that I feel like because if you're darker than me, you probably can't wear this palette. Like, I don't really know for sure. 
a hundred percent but if you are darker than my skin tone will you let me know down in the comments if you feel like you can wear this palette because I think it is so so light so that's what really makes me sad about this palette is that it is so so beautiful but not every skin tone can appreciate this because of the light shades and I don't think our glass has really done a good job of being inclusive of other skin tones so I really quick wanted to swatch these guys for you because I haven't really swatched them on my channel before obviously these don't look like much on the skin just swatched out but I swear to you guys when you put them on your face the pearlescent you know whatever that is in here whatever crack powder really really picks up and it just brightens up your entire face now talking about the colors in here i definitely think it gives my skin a softer younger and lift from within look and i think if you give these powders a chance it'll do the same for you this is in a limited edition rose gold compact for the holidays and i do like this packaging i think it's a great size it's definitely travel friendly and easy to carry around now the first shade on here is going to be the finishing powder in Diffuse Light and it is a soft, warm, pale yellow powder that conceals redness and gives skin clarity. And then the next shade is going to be Strobe Powder in Hypnotic Strobe Light and that one is described as a champagne powder infused with multi-dimensional pearl for a sublime highlight. And there's definitely you can definitely see that and that's the highlight i have on my face and then the next powder is the finishing powder in dim light and it says it is a natural peach beige powder that blurs imperfections and highlights the complexion and then down here we have bronzer in luminous bronze light and that delivers a medium tan shade fused with luminous light for a soft candlelight warmth which I definitely think it does. The blush in Surreal Halo, which is a deep berry blush fused with Surreal Light for a vibrant flush of color. That is the blush I have on my cheeks. And then this last blush is called Pure Effect, which is a bright petal pink fused with glimmering rose for a youthful glow. So that is kind of the description of all the shades in here. As far as whether I would recommend this palette, honestly guys, I would 100% recommend this palette. The only thing that makes me really sad, like I've said multiple times in this video, is I don't think it's going to be suitable for every skin tone, which is very disappointing. So I would urge Hourglass and all these YouTubers and bigger YouTubers to, you know, let Hourglass know and encourage them to expand their color range, especially because these powders are gorgeous and I think everyone deserves access to a wonderful product like this. As far as I'm concerned, I will be keeping this palette because I think it's absolutely beautiful and those are my thoughts on this palette. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk about in regards to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette number three. Let me know if you guys are planning on picking this palette up or if you already have. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and don't forget to check out some of my other videos that I'll link down in the description box or you'll see them linked here as well. If you haven't had a chance yet, subscribe to my channel and have a good day. Bye guys!